Zaburi 136. Tumshukuru Bwana na tuimbe pamoja.
Why the choice of uh, sunflowers? Ha, that's a good one. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me that question. We have talked about art. We've talked about uh, uh, how we can bring art to, uh, for, you know, to a place where it can be used in ministry. The use of, um, uh, you know, computer art to generate something evangelistic for the children. This was done for children. Uh, specifically but I find that even adults are thrilled to watch it and so I don't take any credit for the sunflower productions but I appreciate um, the sunflower production so much one because it uh, uh, takes across the message in a new way uh, and uh, using a new dimension uh, which makes it very easy for the children to follow and uh, like the song and therefore like the scriptures uh, but if asked, I, I would say that I think the sunflowers do for me what I couldn't do for myself because I'm not a dancer. I'm, not, I, 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 I'm very poor at dancing. <laughs> so I compensate for all that dancing by letting them do what I couldn't do. So it's exciting. Um, I, I like to think what I would become and maybe stretching the possibilities here. Uh, it, it, it seems to me that uh, the sunflower concept uh, or motif uh, brings to mind the possibilities of uh, all creation coming together as a symphony of praise to, to the Lord. And indeed, uh, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament, the handiwork thereof. And uh, it seems to me that as much as flowers can praise God, uh, so can humans. And uh, it's a challenge, really. Um, if uh, we don't praise God, as Jesus said, even stones could. I mean, God has used a donkey before, uh, he, uh, you know, to, to communicate. God has used ravens to supply. Uh, God has used um, real flowers to minister uh, his uh, creative power to bring about his glory. And uh, so it's extended art here, praising God. I'm not a very visual person myself. Uh, and not just because I, uh, I happened to become blind at the age of three, but uh, I'm a more audio person. So my friends compensate for me on the video side. And so I've never quite even uh, wanted or desired to, to go into video production and so on. Uh, when my friends do it, I appreciate it, but uh, I really listen more than uh, appreciate uh, the visual. And, and I can advice I mean in me there is a creative side that says perhaps if this picture or, or that sequence matched with this other um, I can even do uh, audio accompaniments to movies given a chance but uh, I really don't take uh, video production as a priority you know from the time you record a song until people get to appreciate it it's, it's a long time. I mean, you record it so it's circulated and people get acquainted with it. One way of answering your question is just to say that time has made it a lot more popular. I would say that God has happened to, you know, has answered the prayer that, uh, that I made and that as these songs, um, as well as those I have written on other albums, be used uh, for the edification of the body of Christ in particular. Um, and so when I see them being used in churches, uh, a lot of congregations sing them. Uh, I, I am gratified, but it says that um, the singing of the songs in these congregations makes them uh, a lot more common to, to, to many people. And so, I mean, for me it's rewarding because I know we've had a lot of material from the West in terms of worship uh, music. And... Uh, to write something a bit more local, a, a bit more contextualized in Africa here, and to see it used in uh, worship in the churches, it's, it's really a blessing for me. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's one more uh, proof that God can take just an ordinary, simple man or woman and use them if they are willing to be used and, uh, you know, produce things that, uh, you know, uh, he can put to ministry.